Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. So today I'm going to teach you how to record your um, music or if you want to sing uh, in Ableton. So you're going to record your vocals and then if you have an instrument, you can record that as well in Ableton. So I think I've shown you so many ways to record it uh, by connecting your instrument using a USB interface then you can create a MIDI track but for today I'm just going to show you how to record your instrument so for example here if you would see in my screen I have my Scarlett uh, Gen 3 2i2 audio interface so I have two inputs I have a microphone connected using an XLR cable then I have my digital piano connected also using my uh, XLR cable. So if you would see on the screen, um, okay, so I can record my voice here, but we will not do that anyway. It's the same thing. You are going to, ro to record an audio signal. So what I'm just going to show you is to how to record um, your, uh, the, your instrument via sending it to uh, to create an audio signal so one thing that you have to do first is you have to make sure you have to go to your preferences and then MIDI link sorry sorry it's audio link okay then from here you have to make sure that one and two are enabled you can do it as mono input or stereo inputs but for myself I just keep it as stereo inputs okay and then you have to make sure that your output is also enabled so because you see um, I'm using a two input to output um, sorry to input uh, audio interface it just shows two if you're going to use an audio interface with more inputs then you would see more and you have the option to switch on or switch off those yeah so one thing about uh, these inputs if you're not going to use them it's better to keep them off okay so today because I'm going to use both so I have them on okay so let's try to no no sorry we go for the audio interface first so if you would see my voice it's already like at 50 no around here 24 decibel so as much as possible you keep it around 50 percent you can then you can just adjust it with your audio effects if your recording is a bit low and then yeah you can add uh, more audio effects there okay and then if you're going to record your uh, instrument then you have to arm the record button yeah so for now i'm speaking first and then um yeah i think uh, for my instrument Let's see first uh, how strong is it. Yeah, I think I'm good. So my gain is good, somewhere around 40% because it's already right, like sending a signal up to 24. So I would stay there. And then um, again, you can... So the sound that you heard is coming from my digital piano there's no um hold on huh? let me check this yeah there's no audio effects from ableton ableton that was added it's just the raw analog sound coming from ableton uh, sorry from my digital piano okay now let's try to record so i would arm this and go to uh, session view
So you can see I have now recorded my audio signal coming from a digital piano here. Then let's try to hear it first. right then you can put more for example we place an equalizer there okay let's try equalizer 8 then we can put so I think it's too strong for me but that simple I think um, I think I would further discuss this about how you can further optimize your audio recording and make it sound better because you would see this one there's quite a very strong input at the start actually you can further adjust that if you would double click here you can do some things here which I will discuss again in another video but this one actually you can transpose you would see on how you decrease this or increase this yeah see yeah so you can do some things here but I think recording as a MIDI track is better than um, recording in audio but there are th advantages and disadvantages actually which I would discuss in another video okay again that's it for me i think um i hope you learned something today and i hope that you would uh, click like if you've learned something or you find this video useful and then if you're going to um see if you want to see my other videos please click subscribe again thank you so much have a good day bye bye